What is a variation? A variation is a single product page where a buyer can select from a number of options. If we're looking at an example variation on Amazon, we'll see that this disk drive here is available in a number of different sizes and also a number of different styles. And the user can choose a combination. So if they want a three terabyte red drive, that's the option selected here, or they've now selected a three terabyte red plus drive. You'll notice as you change the selection, the photo here changes on the left, as does the title. As we've seen in that example, Amazon has selection icons for the different options. If you are selecting by color, it'll show a little thumbnail of the picture of the item. Variation can be on multiple attributes. So for example, for clothing, you could be variating on color, for example, blue, green, red, and also size, small, medium, large. Whilst variations have the benefit of allowing the buyer to select multiple options from the same page, they are more difficult to create and to amend. Now we shall look at a flat file which has been configured to create variations. At the heart of creating Amazon variations is the parent-child relationship. A parent SKU is the overall family SKU. In this case, it would be baby trainer shoes. The child SKUs are the combination of size and color. So for example, you would have one child SKU would be size 19 in blue, another would be size 19 in dusty blue, and another would be size 20 in blue. So all together here, you have one parent SKU and six child SKUs. Here is the example of the baby toddler shoes created in a flat upload file. In this file, we have one parent SKU, which we've given an item SKU, baby toddler SKUs, and six child SKUs, one for each color size combination. Not every field needs to be filled in for each SKU type. This table shows a summary of the different fields which are required by parent and child SKUs. Parent SKUs do not exist as such. They just group together child SKUs into groups. A parent SKU will need a SKU, a title, the brand and the manufacturer, and also the specific variation fields, but it won't need the product specific information. Parent SKUs do not have product identifiers, a price or an individual description or other features which are individual to products. Let's now have a look at a flat file which creates variation SKUs in more detail. As I mentioned just now, this product is for one variation group, therefore it has one parent SKU and six child SKUs. Every SKU will need a feed type and every child will need an individual item SKU. Here I've given the parent SKU a different style from the child SKUs. Every product will need a brand. The child SKUs only will need an external product ID. The parent SKU only brings the products together and is not an individual barcoded product. It will also not need an external product ID type. Every SKU will need a name. Here I've created some SKU names which have a pattern. So the first one is baby toddler shoes and the child SKUs say baby toddler SKUs and then have the variant information. Every product will need a manufacturer. Only the child SKUs will need a recommended browse node a quantity or an image URL. If we now move to the right here, we'll see the variation information. I've hidden some columns here so you can see the SKU here in column B. Columns T to W define the parent-child relationship. This tells us that the SKUs five through to 10 are variations. It also tells us that the parent SKU that brings this group together is this parent toddler shoes SKU, which is this one here. The theme is color size. That means each SKU is variated both on the size and the color. Column V tells us that this SKU is the parent and these are its children. The list of possible variation themes and the other valued values can be found under the value values tab. In this case, we've used color size, but we could have used one of these options like length, weight, or size weight. The variation theme name refers to attributes in this file. Color size refers to the columns color name, which you can see has been filled in with the color name, and size name, which you can see has been filled in with the size. If you wanted to create a variation group, which was simply variated on one attribute, for example, color, you would change this variation theme to color, and then you would not need, and then you would not need the size filled in. You would only need the color field filled in. So that would be just variated on color. Other product fields, such as description, part number, bullet points and pricing are all defined at the child SKU level and not at the parent level. Once the file has been completed, 
it can be uploaded under inventory add products via upload like an ordinary flat file. Once a variation product has been successfully uploaded, the details will appear in Merge Inventory. You can see variations as they are organized like this. The various variations are grouped together under this expanding section. This is the name of the parent SKU. If we click on this arrow here, we will see all the child SKUs. If we look at a variation set and edit the parent, under the variation tab, we will see all the child SKUs under that parent. Extra variations can be added manually from this section here. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com blog.